hope to lower their morale a bit. Kind of curious to see whether the AI will start shifting forces over to Tennessee. Be weird if they wouldn't, because then I can just march in, I guess, towards Nashville or something. To be kind of weird, yeah. Sad, really. General Garibaldi has arrived in Philadelphia, bringing with him thousands of volunteers from Europe who wish to fight for a cause. The time has now come to decide what command he'll be given. One possibility would be to appoint Garibaldi as the commanding general of the army to succeed Winfield Scott, who has decided to retire. This would allow him and his followers to deploy on a map with three experienced stars. However, doing so will upset many senior officers who would be bypassed for the position, temporarily demoralizing our forces. Furthermore, Garibaldi is still politically involved with events in Europe and appointing him to a higher position will exaggerate the effects, favorable or otherwise, of any further events inv involving him. Alternatively, we can appoint Garibaldi as an army commander, subordinate to McClellan which would seem to deploy on the map with one experienced star. This would be much more favorably received by our own generals and reduce the risk of that his appointment inflames tensions with Europe, but it would also limit his effectiveness as a field commander. Would you like to appoint Garibaldi to the position of commanding general? Yes, or make him an army commander? No. Saying yes will double the effects of all events relating to Garibaldi hereafter, dramatically increasing both the risks and rewards involved. If you wish to play it safe, it's recommended that you say no although this will notably reduce the value of his HQ. The question of what position Garibaldi would serve greatly complicated discussions between American diplomats and Garibaldi, who felt he, would, he could only be effective if given the position of Commander-in-Chief. As Garibaldi never joined the Union forces, this question would go unanswered, and George McClellan would succeed Winfield Scott as Commanding General of the U.S. Army. I don't care, I'm just going to get Garibaldi. <laughs> this, it's just, yes. <laughs> Those are fun, I mean... They celebrate as General Garibaldi joins the fight. Uh, so wait, uh, I guess. Spanish ears consider recognize the Confederacy as a cotton shortage which begins in Europe. Uh, that's fine. Rough seas. Winfield Scott retires. The Trent incident is sparked after the Union captures two Confederate diplomats on board a British mail ship. First Melbourne Cup horse race is held. Ah, sweet. Kind of curious how bad things are with the British now then. It shouldn't be that bad though. As far as I'm concerned. At least they did also get two core. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Pretty interesting how that works. Seems like they did move units there. That's certainly how it looks like. Wow. Hmm. I wonder if they retreat, I guess not. This is kind of futile. Not this, this kind of sucks, but I hope that at least this McClellan HQ can hold them there for a while. 
Hmm. Okay. That's looking pretty decent. and get these guys to move further. I'll move back a bit. I'll give them Fort Thorn there. How's their supply? Down to two. Good. Ah. Uh, Wow. Uh, let's move you up to 10. Well, if, if their supply is lower... This will also be harder for them to... Uh, deal with that brigade. of course a city there huh interesting thing that I mean, I will most certainly just move down with as most of as many of these guys as possible here, and uh... oh, that guy's still there. That's pretty funny. Well, for one, I do need to get a unit in here so they can go into Pakuda. Secondly, can I deploy so I need at the very least one more unit to go down here through this way then if you move through here then I need to deploy at the very least one more division here so they can move through down the Cumberland Gap They do have units. Just making sure. I do kind of hope they don't take Pakuda, but at least Cairo is protected now. And if I can get into Tennessee from here, that'd be kind of nice. Not gonna lie. Take infantry equipment level two, giving me two hundred access. Leadership, it is. Well, 
Putting a dare is almost certain death for that unit. Okay. Now that that unit is gone, I can put you... Not there. Just kind of have to hope they don't take that city. But... Uh... Can't really do much else, unfortunately. Now, I need to take Warrington so that these guys all will have no more supplies. No matter the costs here. Unbelievable this game sometimes. Um... Okay. I mean, the good thing is now that now these guys are cut off, which is what I wanted. You can get into Winchester. Sad I didn't get killed. <laughs> Maybe like this. Sweet. They will be at zero supply at least. They cannot take any city. Which means at the very least they got another four brigades down. Which is useful. Because that happens, that almost immediately makes it so that I cannot take it anymore. That's fine. Uh, might have a very small chance. Yes, I did take it. Okay. At least that means I'm uh, capable of repairing that frigate there too while keeping Norfolk in check. Which is pretty good. I'm looking for that shatter, but that's not likely to happen anyway. It's still pretty useful to try though. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that, but again, the odds are bad, and I should feel bad. <laughs> okay, let's let's focus on clearing this. Really don't want to spend MPPs on moving these guys further down. So I guess only two supply. Well, besides all of that, they need to get fixed up. I'll do that. I'm too far ahead anyway, and I don't really care about those partisans, really. So, in that sense, this is looking pretty good. And then once I've taken that, I can move further along into Virginia. Seems like a pretty reasonable deal. a lot of units 
I'll get another two over here. Get a serious force in Kentucky moving towards Atlanta then. 101, 93, huh? That's pretty good. So let's purchase another two divisions. I can now take care of diplomacy again. Wonder if I can try to get that down. It's unlikely, but hey, it's worth a shot. That'll be it. Giving up Fort Thorn, but doing well in other areas. And quite a lot more units there, too. More volunteers. Cavalry tax level one, production technology level one. Quite nice too. Although I've already purchased a lot, so getting things cheaper by this stage is a bit less useful than it was before. I have no real intention of causing uh, anything more than a stalemate in New Mexico, necessarily. This is a bit unfortunate that it's going to continue like that, but I uh, got a hard press there. Hmm. Impressive that they still managed to deal some damage. They do get a lot of units uh, in here, ultimately, as we've seen our, ourselves, really. Bring down another core, huh? Or a uh, division, I should say, not a core. Where did a guy go? That's right. British, French, and Spanish forces seized the custom house at Veracruz. Yeah. Confederate armies in Mexico up. Occupy the village of Tehira or that. Yeah. The traveling part is that we'll go through the winter turns now. Things will get tricky. That is a lot of stuff again. Um, it's already some snow. Cannot imagine that unit just dying. That would be quite strange.
Okay, that takes down four Confederate units. Weak units, but uh, still. I'll gladly upgrade these guys. Even they uh, don't have a good way to attack them across the river. For now though, upgrades are Also more than welcome. I have quite a, a few units that could benefit from upgrading here. Sadly, Woodstock is not particularly providing a whole lot of uh, goodies. I guess in a, a sense it means that this turn will be kind of slow. This isn't going anywhere yet, but it doesn't have to. It's in there, you need to reinforce the 10. Uh, once again, I, I can't do a whole lot. It's interesting to see that this is actually a pretty bad attack, so I will not go for it. Um, out here though, you cannot move. But you can. Now that we've destroyed that their unit... Well, I'm sure they have a unit there, but... Uh, nothing I can do, and I can't really deal with that, unfortunately. Not very well, either way. to know whether they had a unit there too which they did let's try crossville see if they have anything there they have one supply Can you not move back? This turn you're not. Boy. Mm. 
Sachen. Right, now if I want to take Jackson Port, I kind of need to uh, lower their supply in general. All the way down. Try to take this to get behind them. Now I'll see whether Dresden is full too. to try and get units close to Nashville because them having units further away from Nashville means that uh, it's gonna be good for them let's try to keep Navajo out they're, they are the last ones likely to join them Apache is not very likely to to do so and Currently, I can buy another two, at least one division. Two divisions it is. I guess as far as brigades are concerned let's put it there and I will put my core up in Washington have a pretty serious concentration of force there and I knew they had a unit in Koopa bar that that's not uh, not the thing I just don't want to move and get stuck up by whatever they might potentially have there so let's not That will once again be it. I have down here. I do want to also blockade them down there. Didn't see those exit for I knew they were there, but. A collection of volunteer infantry and cavalry has been formed into units in California, known as the California Column, and will soon be available for service in New Mexico Territory. Owing to the difficulties involved in crossing the southwestern desert and the great distances involved, we must make a decision now as to which route this force could or should take to come east. A recommendation would be to have the Column march along the old Butterfield Overland Mail route, 
which would see it arrive at Fort Bowie in southern Mexico in July 1862. Alternatively, we could send a column north and then it would follow the Oregon Trail to arrive in Denver around October 1862, for which it would be further out of position to fight in New Mexico, but could more easily continue to the east. Now let's send it to Fort Bowie. One HQ, two infantry brigades, and one cavalry. Be in a much better position to, to oppose the Confederate advance, in addition to arriving several months sooner. If the Apaches are still neutral, they will automatically be defeated by the California Column, ensuring that the Column can deploy on the map and upon their arrival. Should the Confederates conquer the Apaches in the meantime, the Column will be forced to turn back and will not arrive in Denver until 1863. Quite funny. Yes. Okay, we do know that. Prince Albert dead. Fine. Didn't have any use for the chap anyway. Do think this map down there is still pretty uh, pretty interesting at that the way it looks. With my one boat, there's no way I can uh, compete there. A serious pushback. Mm -hmm. Kind of surprised they did that. They did put a good number on my unit there, too. Holy cow. Even there, to have a brigade deal two damage to those guys, even though they are upgraded, is kind of weird. I completely forgot about this again. I'm Playing quite poorly at that. Keep forgetting stuff. But next button is not an option, I guess. Next unit. Ah, I gotta take that mine. They didn't attack there, which is weird. Hmm. Why would they have a unit there? Weird. Okay. I'm going to end the video here, though. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe. Or help me out on Patreon.com for more videos each week. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.